Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Keisha. If you're someone who suffers from acne, you know that it doesn't just stay on your face. It travels to your chest, your arms, your back, your bum, and your legs. Now, I have been able to fade the acne and the dark spots on my chest, and it's pretty much completely gone. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys that routine. I'm still working on other areas because they have deeper scars, but I wanted to give you guys an update and share with you guys what I've been doing to get rid of some of my body acne. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, I'm a skincare enthusiast, and I post a lot of videos on skincare, makeup, lifestyle, and sometimes hair. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. And if you're coming back for another video because you got the notification, then what's up Adams family? Without further ado, let's get started. So the first tip that I would have for you is actually start treating your body acne like you do your face acne. Now, when it comes to face acne, we do masks, we do sheet masks, we do treatments, we use serums, we use toners and exfoliators and all these other products that for some reason we just don't use on our body. So I started changing that and applying the same mentality that I do to my face to my body. Now your body is a little bit thicker, so some of the ingredients that you're using, you can use them at more higher percentages, depending on how sensitive your body is. Um, for me, my body is not as sensitive as my face at all, so some of the things that sometimes break me out on my face, or they're too strong for my face, I can actually get away with using them on my body. And to answer a question that I typically get in the comments a lot is, can you use your facial products on your body? The answer is yes. Now of course you wanna take into account the cost of these products, you don't wanna be dripping your face serums on your body everywhere because you'll just run out of it really quickly. And if the serum costs like $50, like that's a lot of product. But when you are doing your face routine, bring it down. I love bringing it down all the way through my neck. I love rubbing it all over my chest area. So for example, the serums that I'm currently using on my face, when I'm breaking out, I have the R&W Dur Concentrate. This is their four Turpamil Plus. I did a review video on this a while back, and this has been such a lifesaver when it comes to preventing acne, as well as healing the acne that's already there. Currently, I am using this vitamin C from Natrium. This is their 22% vitamin C complex, as well as their retinol 2.5%, which I believe the names have changed, and they're now just complexes. I don't quite remember, I didn't look at the name recently. Another thing that really took into account and really changed the way I viewed skin was my understanding of moisture. So when it comes to my body, the same understanding stayed put. So what I use is the Nature Republic Soothing Moisture Aloe Vera 92%. You guys know that I use this as a mask on my face. I use it on my chest as well. I bring it all the way down and let it soak for like five minutes before going into my next product. Such a lifesaver. I've always said it before, your skin is designed to heal itself. You just need to create an environment where it can do so effectively. The moisturizer that I use, this one is actually finished right now, but this is the CeraVe um, Salicylic Acid Cream. This is their renewing cream for extremely rough and dry and bumpy skin. And I use this all over. I use this on my back, I use this on my chest, I use it on my bum, I use it anywhere where I have troubled, bumpy skin, any type of acne. Salicylic acid is a BHA that's gonna really exfoliate the pores themselves and get rid of some of that gunk. And that's exactly what you need to not only get rid of the acne, but also prevent it. So I use this on my body all the time. Like I said, that one is finished, but currently I just use the Scottish Fine Soaps. This one's not like a, a BHA or anything like that, but it's a very simple product. It has like 10 ingredients, and I use this on my body everywhere. This is my favorite. Favorite body lotion, favorite all time. So the next thing I'll talk about is my shower routine. So when it comes to my showering routine, you don't need products that are super harsh or super fragrant. It's not gonna help you, just like on your face, how you're not gonna wanna use super fragrant products if you're breaking out. The same thing for your body. You wanna use something that is stripped back, something that is simple, Honestly, you can use baby wash on your body. There's nothing wrong with using baby wash to wash your body. It's gentle. It's gonna help to make sure that your body's not irritated. I use a Vino's baby soap, and then once that was finished, I actually have the Dove's Purely Pampering Shea Butter with warm vanilla body wash, and I use this all the time, all over my body. It smells amazing. It's very simple. It's not one of those crazy products with super fruit extracts, it's not drying, it's really nice and hydrating. And then also when I did break out on my body, when I was currently breaking out, I used acne fighting body wash. 
Um, this is actually a face wash, but this is the Acne AHA BHA PHA 30 Days Miracle Acne Clear Foam. And this one on the face I felt like was a little bit drying, so I didn't really use it, but I do use it on my body. So I will put this on, lather it up on my body, it soaps up to a really nice foam, and I will leave it there for like five minutes. And I'll do like my shaving ritual, I'll shave my legs, I'll exfoliate my legs, and then I will wash off my body. You really need to give this time to sit on your body so that the ingredients can actually penetrate the skin. But this, this was so amazing. I think I have just a little bit left. But yeah, whatever acne face wash that I have, I bring it with me in the shower. Another thing I did was I changed the type of loofah that I was using. You know the traditional like loofah, like the sponge that you have? That actually harbors a lot of bacteria, just like a face brush or something like that. And you're rubbing that all over your body once again. So I switched to something that I can just throw in the wash and um, with my laundry and then use again. The one that I have is this African sponge and it's this long little cloth right here, like a fishnet, long fishnet. I actually got mine from a corner shop in Africa when I went on vacation, but you can get these online. And essentially what this helps you do is get your back, um, not only your chest, but your back. So you fold it in two, and then you can just go around your back area and do that as well. It is so nice. You don't have to press hard. That's the that's the other thing I'll mention. Do not like press into your skin. Just lightly exfoliate. Let the cloth do its job. But this helps so much to exfoliate. Exfoliation is so important. The next thing I'll talk about is treatments. Just like you treat your face, you want to treat your body as well. And that's what we're going to cover next. So as for serums, you guys know that currently whatever serum I'm using on my face, I bring it down to my body. But before, I used to use specific treatments for my body. The first one being an oil. This is an oil that I make myself. This is a mixture of jojoba oil, castor oil, uh, grapeseed oil, and then tea tree in here. And I would use this as an oil to lock in the hydration. We put on the aloe, we put on the moisturizer, just like my face, I don't want it to evaporate and I don't want it to leave. I have very, very dry skin on my body, so I need something a little bit thicker to lock in that water. And that's exactly what this oil is for. And it was also a treatment because it has the tea tree oil in it, which is gonna help clear your skin too. When it comes to treatments, the first thing that comes to my mind is masks. So what I use is bentonite clay. Bentonite clay is one of the most powerful clays in the world. It's known to really detox your skin, draw out a lot of those impurities, and just help to control the oil on your skin as well. And so why not use it on your body? At the time when I was breaking out, I use this about two to three times a week. Now currently I use this like once a week on my body. I use this with um, apple cider vinegar. Sometimes I'll put aloe vera in it just to make it a little bit more moisturizing and not as drying and that truly did help. The next thing for treatment. Now, you obviously have spots sometimes that you want to get rid of. So the same spot treatments that I use for my face, I use for my body. This is the La Roche-Posay Effaclar Duo Treatment, and this is their Global Acne Treatment. This is essentially salicylic acid. So whenever I had spots on my chest, I would just go ahead and add my salicylic acid. Like we said before, this is going to help um, unclog the pores and make the skin really good and clean. Not only is it going to zap away the current acne on your skin, but it's going to have more long lasting effects. BHA actually stays in your skin for about two weeks. So I use this as upkeep now. As I mentioned before, the CeraVe SA moisturizer is done. So right now what I use is I just use this, I put it in my hand and I actually mix it in with my body lotion and put that over my chest or anywhere where I have active breakouts. So that's something that I love to do. So a lot of what I talked about before had to do with more of the acne, some of the breakouts that you have in your body. Now I'm going to talk about getting rid of the dark spots on your body as well. So the first thing, of course, I did mention the African sponge that really helped to exfoliate the skin. Um, the next thing that I did is I actually used a exfoliator dedicated to my body. This is the Nassif MD Dermaceuticals. This is their detox pads, complexion perfecting pads with alpha and beta hydroxy acids. This came with 60 uh, soaked pads in here. And I used this on my face and it actually is what gave me this huge rash on my skin. A couple of videos back, I mentioned that my skin just was so sensitive and something that I've been using for a very long time broke me out once again. And this was it. It was just too strong for my face after using vitamin A as a tablet. And I used this on my body. I used this all over my chest. 
uh, two times a week just to help exfoliate that on a more molecular level. And this truly, truly helped. Like this is what really got rid of my dark spots. This exfoliator right here was my best friend. It is now empty and um, we don't have any dark spots, so that's great. The next thing I did was actually use a vitamin C treatment. So this is the Coors Wild Rose Vitamin C Brightening Sleeping Facial, and I use this on my body. And this really helped to make sure that overnight I was getting some of that brightening effect as well. And then honestly, I would say that these two together is what really changed my skin. The exfoliation and then the brightening. These two really, really helped me a lot. And last but not least, you definitely want to make sure that you're using some type of SPF. The one that I have is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Weightless 50 SPF. And this one is also broad spectrum for UVA and UVB. This one is scented, so if you're someone who doesn't like fragrance in your SPF, then stay away from that. Like I said, on the face, it's different from the body. I don't mind too many scented products on my body. I just don't want them to be too crazy. On the face, I kind of run from it just because I don't want to get any other sensitivity or any type of irritation. But on the body, I'm okay with the fragrance. So this one is one that I really do enjoy. I love that this one is not um, gonna leave that cast on your body. We all know. Black girl wearing sunscreen, it's that purple, bluish tint all over your skin. This does not leave that at all. It melts in so beautifully. And this is what I did use to help me prevent any further darkening of the skin. And I slabbered this on, regardless if my chest was showing in the sun or not. I put this on as like my, my shield, as my extra defense. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I loved creating it for you. As always, leave your questions down below if you have any. And if you have any tips and products that you use to get rid of your body acne, leave them down below too so we can all be body acne free. And click over here to see some of my previous videos. Remember to stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in the next